Rebecca. You probably had to learn really, really quickly to you get started with no the project. Idea. So that as soon as I started, it was a bit like, <laughs> oh, I've said I'll do sultry bees, bumblebees, and honeybees all in the same time. And not only are they big subjects, but often the kind of could potentially be completely different. But I think that that was some of it, isn't it? I think everybody just puts bees together. They're all bees. Yeah. Yeah, if it buzzes and it's stripey. Yeah, but I mean, even honeybees, lots of people are like, oh, I didn't know one looked like that. Yeah. Because it's kind of unbee like. Yeah. Because we imagine the big fluffy bumblebee. Yeah. So kind of maybe I was reflecting what everybody thinks anyway. I took masses of pressings. Yeah. These are the only ones that I could fit in here. Yeah. So, then, but I've, so I've tried to represent all the months. So then it starts with crocus and through the spring crack plants. Um, fully loaded. So these are all honeybees. These are workers, that's the third queen, and these are drones. If you're nearby, yeah, they will be. About three miles extra, just for so a See, we're right on the edge. Yeah. Of, yeah. Well, I don't know where else they come from. But, else, uh, Look, but more and more people that know about it do then admit slyly, oh yes, actually I collect bees in matchboxes and things like that. And I spent hours in front of the beehive, the honey beehives, and uh, with my digital recorder. Yeah. And I noticed every time I went they were different. Like they were either, if it was first thing in the morning they were quieter, not many of them. If it was really hot and they were right in the middle of the day, they were more angry, I think. Yeah, <laughs> What did you think? And people did pick out different things. They pick, everybody picked out different things. That first started, as you see on the first map, there's only Bombus terrestris. Yeah. So you begin to see a few of them and you think, right, yeah, great, I can understand the stripe system to be able to ID it next time. But then more and more bumblebees. I think I'll definitely be completely mad on bees forever now. Excellent. <laughs> it, like, so often, because, like, just when I was talking, then I could see a bee, like, just bobbing about. And it, Are you I can't work out what it is? Yeah, and I can't go on a walk anywhere now without it taking twice as long because I'll be walking and then it's like, oh, there's a bee there, and I'm off. It's been the best project I've ever worked on. I do always say that about the project I've just worked yeah. on, though, but yeah. I, I have to say that. Uh, that about this one by a, by a country mile. Do you know what I mean? I was here for a year. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Away from this. Yeah, with, yeah, with and take that with me. Yeah, yeah, and look at everything in just so much more detail. And um, yeah, definitely take that away. Yeah. I think that's a garden bumblebee because it's got two stripes on the top part of the body, and two on the bottom. Whereas and there's another. There. That one's a common cardaby because it's all orange. <laughs>